Hey guys, welcome to the eighth ever vlog. We are in Lanzarote. I'm just gonna show you my outfit. You can see. Going on to our third day in Lanzarote. Thought I'd start this now because I think we are actually renting a car today. Apologies if there's loads of noise. I'm just gonna go up here. But um yeah, I'm gonna put in what we did yesterday now. We basically went to like mini golf and it was just really cute, but I'll not put it in now. Mini golf, mini golf. Oh! Girls holiday call, <laughs> the dino call. Guys, we're on our last hole. Everyone else is clear now. We've got a place to ourselves. Prep for me. Thanks to the girlies. Just walked somewhere a bit more quiet, but yeah, um, that was last night. That was really fun. Just went out in like a hoodie, which was actually so nice. Like not being all like tight. I've also burnt a bit. Also, my sister, my sister won the mini golf. It was a bit heartbreaking, but um, yeah. And as I said today, I think we are renting a car, fingers crossed, if they let us because my sister is the only one that's 23 and she doesn't have a license, she only has a picture of it. So we'll see, but fingers crossed, we're hoping for like convertible <laughs> and then we can drive to like all the different beaches. But um, God, I'm really out of breath from walking up this hill. Um, I'm just kind of trying to walk away from the traffic, but I forgot to say, well, I've said in another vlog, but we're actually here because we found out that one of my like relatives has an apartment here, so we're staying in her apartment, um, which is very fun, very lucky. And then at the end of this week, I have my marathon, um, but I think I'm gonna do these in two separate vlogs. God, I need to sort of a sec. I think I'm gonna do these in two separate vlogs. Um, God, as if I'm meant to be running a marathon, I'm literally like, can't even walk up a hill. Just because I feel like it'd be nice to have like a separately dedicated marathon vlog um, and Lanzarote vlog to watch back. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely day, wherever you are, whatever you're up to. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the vlog. Also, outfit details. These Javianas are so good. I literally got them in the airport when I was going to Madrid last year. And I wear them every holiday. Apart from they do hurt my feet a lot. I also really want to get the, you know, like the platform Javianas. I feel like they're so, like, versatile. These shorts I got from, like, a vintage place. But they're Levi's. I'm pretty sure they're Levi's just, like, cut. And then this top I also got from Depop on depot but low-key like i could crochet this might start a new business um anyway let's go get our car breakfast i got guacamole and eggs on toast the girlies got jam on toast because they're basic bitches that was so nice oh my goodness lovely gorgeous view as well off to get our car so nice and sunny today boss got the keys <laughs> we made it to this beach guys I don't actually know where we are my sister just directed us here on her maps it's like a 50 minute drive but um it was actually it was actually not bad we're on like the other side of that mountain i think to where we are in our hotel but yeah i really need some food and water and then i think we're just gonna sunbathe yay the girlies are off into the sea. We got a little water, Coke Zero also. This is the book that I'm reading this holiday. It's really good. I've only read like 200 pages, but I can like already tell that it's gonna be good and like suspenseful. Um, but anyway, it's gorgeous here. I and mean, then I think we're just gonna chill here, have some late lunch. Oh God, so nice. Literally cheers girls. 
I got a little corona. It's looking like a dog. <laughs> 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 Chicken and chips for everyone for lunch. <laughs> Just got back from our lunch. It was actually really nice. The girlies wanted to see because my sister likes to force everyone to jump the waves with her. We can't see them. Also, I am wearing a bikini. It's just strapless. Um, getting a little bit burnt. But I've made a little den for myself in this cave. Got me water, got me book. Where's my book? Oh, it's there somewhere. I um, think we're going to stay here for a bit longer and then I will drive us back home, I believe. Ow. Um, for like a chilled night. Going back now. I've had enough of the sun. If you want. Hey guys, we came back from the beach and we just did a little little shop. We literally have the absolute basics. <laughs> and we're trying to make some food in where we can, just to like not spend like a million pounds. But um tonight we have baguette, chicken, and then I found this at the shop, which is so nice. It's like a chicken, uh not chicken, garlic aioli thing. Anyway, we're gonna go and sit on the bank. Oh my god, no, why is it like that? Sit on the bank and play some Uno and eat our sandwiches. So yeah, wholesome evening. And we also got some milker. Where is the milker? Chips Ahoy milker. Yumsville. of april god we're already into april i literally can't believe that i feel like march went so quickly and like these next few weeks are also just gonna go so quick i feel like i'm literally gonna blink and then it's gonna be end of university what's it like oh let's not get into that right now i was just gonna say like what happens when uni's over then like what <laughs> What? I'm not a student anymore. I was actually saying this to someone the other day, like, I feel like I just like blame everything on being a student. Like, I'm just like, I'm literally just a student. Like, you can't really blame me for that much. But I won't have that to fall back on anymore. Anyway, um, oh God, it's windy. It is cloudy AF today, guys. So if you've seen, I actually woke up and I was gonna go on my run. Um, the only run I have to do before my marathon, but don't really want to do it in these conditions someone literally commented on my last youtube video like what happens if it rains on marathon day i'm like i'm gonna withdraw <laughs> no i actually have looked at the weather and it's meant to be sunny cloudy so that's all good but um yeah it's cloudy today but i'm thinking i'm just on a little walk now there's no coffee places around here and i'm really missing my my little coffees in the morning but i might get some I've seen there's almond milk in the shop and there's some instant coffee in our apartments. Maybe we'll get some of that. I really, I keep saying this, but I really wish I could ask you guys what you're doing. Because basically I started like, not vlogging, but like me and my friend Rosie would always sit, well we still do, always send like vlogs to each other throughout the day. Just like how we're getting on. <laughs> and I really like, I love listening to hers. So, but it's just like, I love doing it as well, but like, do you know what I mean? With this, like, there's no return. But anyway, um, cause it's cloudy. I think I'm definitely gonna use this as an excuse to get some uni work done. Um, cause I've been really bad with doing it so far, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some today. Even if I just like sit on the balcony, I mean, I'm not missing out on sun. Um, so yeah, we got to return our car this morning. Um, I actually loved driving it yesterday. It's quite tiring though. Um, but yeah, so I will check in with you in a bit, but that's the brief of the day really. I'm off to get some almond milk. Guys, I haven't had a coffee in literally three days because I hate cow's milk. I just, ugh, the thought of it makes, 
But then I also eat like butter and eggs and shit, so it doesn't really make sense. Guys, this was our hire car. Go give it back now. We returned the car, we just found this little bakery. It's actually really cute. <laughs> Look! She's got a smoothie. <laughs> Guys, we're getting these anklets for our anklets of the holiday. Guys, look how cute this is. I just got it, I need to put it on though. Guys, literally like an hour ago, I said to you that it's like so cloudy today, so I'm just gonna do uni work, but look at the weather now. It's bloody gorge. Got my book, got me water. I promise I will actually do uni work today, just I think in the evening, because I think my sister and Annie are gonna go out for some drinks tonight. And I do have a marathon in like five days, so I don't think I'll join. I think I'm gonna do try and do uni work tonight instead, um, which seems like a sensible idea. I really talk with my hands. I'm literally like, mm -hmm. um, but anyway, thoroughly enjoying the book. I've also just made myself a coffee. I got that almond milk. Um, the coffee that's here is decaf, but I feel like it's low key just the taste that matters. Look at that ice. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have my coffee on the balcony. Oh fucking hell, it's really overflowing. Also, this bikini. It's like my favourite bikini ever. You can't really see it. I don't really want to like. But it's from Motel Rocks. It's like my favourite bikini I've ever bought in my life. But I do want to buy some new bikinis for this year. Like, really invest in some. Do you know what I mean? Like, because I hate spending money on bikinis. But also, if you find a good bikini, you do wear it year on year. So, oh, my sister's arrived. <laughs> Can I show you? Oh, she's slaying! <laughs> Um, anyway, I'll finish what I'm saying now, but I'm going to sunbill on the balk. So yeah. So good. So good. Can you show another trick? Okay, they're going to do the L-O-V-E thing. <laughs> L. <laughs> it's for the way you look at me. Oh. <laughs> it's for the only one I see. Me. <laughs> It's very, very. <laughs> that was the end of that. Hi guys, I've got absolutely nothing to update you on to be honest. But oh, this is my my spot. It's absolutely boiling. I'm pretty sure the UV is like nine and I've burnt my scalp, but we're living. We're living. Um, I think we're just gonna chill until we go out for dinner tonight and then, as I said earlier, when they go for drinks, I shall commence with my uni work. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm in a great mood. I'm just in a great mood. Isn't this just lovely? Also, if you're watching this and it's England and it's raining, like, summer is coming. This has just given me like a taste of summer. I've never actually been away, like, not in my phone literally just cut me off but i was saying i've never been away not in summer before so it's really weird to me that it's like april right now but if you're watching this then it's it's coming like it is coming london summer like cocktails pims desperados on the beach i can't fucking wait i can't bloody wait oh my god like it is coming okay i'm giving you some sun and it's coming Everyone, everyone also let me know where you're going on your holidays if you booked any and I just think this year is the year of travelling it really is I really want it to be the year of travelling for me and I think it's gonna be because I literally just want to see the world guys the world is so big like it's so big look at like it's huge I'm like literally in the tiniest part of the world right now it's just I can't wait guys, I can't bloody wait. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I'm literally the most visu visual person. Like I got this calendar from Tiger and every time I get stressed out about my life, I just like write what I need to do in it. Oh my God, write what I need to do in it and stuff. I'm crossing it off as I go. I'm just like really stressed at the moment for some reason. Like I have nothing to be stressed about, but I feel like as humans, we just like find things to stress about. I mean, I do have things to be stressed because of like uni, but I mean like plans wise and like traveling wise, holiday wise, I'm like stressing for literally no reason, like, oh god I'm boiling hot, um, but yeah, 
it's good stress, not bad stress. And I feel like sometimes, well, I think we all do, but I think I need to learn the difference between the two. Because, like, planning when you're traveling, when you're not, is good stress. It's not bad stress. Ready for dinner, guys. Almost my hair needs to dry, but I'm wearing my dress. I got this last summer off Vinted. It's actually from Urban Outfitters. Let me try and stand you up, but it's literally the nicest like fitted dress i've literally ever bought in my life um but why is it that the vintage finds the ones that you think aren't going to be nice are like always the nicest i really want to get some more dresses like this for, for this summer because this is like the only one i have and i feel like it's very like flattering like i like i like that it's not that tight but it's also not like flowy anyway um i'm just waiting for the others to finish their makeup and then we will head to dinner Guys, we're finally doing a sister reveal. Oh, hey! oh she's smiling. Guys, just to confirm, this is my sister called Matilda. And this is Annie. Annie, you're slaying as well. We just off to dinner. I've had to steal one of Tilda's jackets because it's fucking freezing. Oh, this looks so good. Cheers. Hey everyone, I just got back. I'm going to see if I can prop you up. I don't know why the toilet's making that noise, but we're just gonna have to try and ignore that. Let's try and pop you up there. I hope you can see me, I'm just gonna take my makeup off, but um, I just got back from dinner. The others are having some drinkies. I'm gonna sit down and do some uni work. I just got us on my way back some sweet treats for them to have on my back. Got myself a double, double Mars bar. Um, but yeah, dinner was really nice. I'm also, like, so it's our last day tomorrow. We're going, like, our flight is at 8 p.m., I think, and then we get back. God, I'm really scared that someone's here. No one's here, I've literally locked the door, but like, do you know what I mean? Um, our flight's at 8 p.m. And we get back in the early hours of Saturday, Friday morning. Oh my God, I literally can't speak. But yeah, and, I was meant to be doing a run here, so I've got one run technically left to do on my runner plan before the marathon, like an eight kilometre, but honestly guys, I just can't be bothered. I've said it so many times, but I really cannot be bothered. And I was speaking to my friend earlier and she was like, if you can't be bothered, then like, just don't do it because it's not like I'm getting any fitter by doing an eight kilometre run. Like if anything, it will just make me a bit more like tired or like, I guess it will be, would prepare me a bit for it but do you know what I mean it might just make me be like I can't be fucked even more like I'm oh my god I look horrendous <laughs> I'm really excited for the marathon but I just don't I just can't be bothered I can't be bothered but I wasted so much of my like packing space on my on my trainers so that's annoying I could go in the morning but again do I want to not really I might do a shakeout run like just before the marathon. Oh my god, I look absolutely terrifying. I'm just gonna come back to you when I've like done my sinker. <laughs> okay, I've taken it off. It looks slightly less horrendous now. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I might just do a little shakeout run on like Friday or Saturday. Just because, yeah, I've just said it, but like I just feel like there's no point in forcing myself. But I am kind of annoyed because my, my trainers did take up like literally half of my bag. But I was like, I need to bring them. Also, this has been like such a practice holiday for me because I packed like all the wrong stuff. I feel like when you go on holiday, like I always, I need so many like chill clothes, but I just never pack enough of them Ooh. just for like chilling in the day and like around the pool and stuff. So yeah, this is me really. This is my sofa bed. There's my double Twix. And I'm gonna do a bit of work and then call it a night. And the girls will probably wake me up at about one, so that's fine. Um, but anyway, I will speak to you guys in the morning. I don't know whether that's gonna be the last day of this vlog. Just because I quite like my vlogs to be quite long, because that's what I like watching. But maybe you guys prefer shorter ones. I just feel like if a video is like 12 minutes, it's just not that long. But we'll see. Um, and obviously you guys can let me know. But yeah, I'm going to do that now and I'll see you in the morning. Night! Morning everyone. It is Thursday the 4th. 
of April, I think. Three days to the marathon and last day in Lanza. I just woke up. Oh my God, it's very windy here in the mornings, but I just woke up and came out on a little walk. My sister and Annie went out last night, as I said to you. Um, they're really hungover. <laughs> so I'll probably get them like a croissant and some coke or something. Because my mum always says that if you drink coke first thing in the morning on a hangover, it makes it so much better. So that's what my sister always does. Um, anyway, I've just come out on a little walk. Um, I would quite like to get an acai bowl. I saw this place. There's not many places around here. It's like proper Brits abroad. Um, and it's just like classic places. But I saw a place that does... Oh my God, it's so windy. I saw a place that does acai bowls. Um, like by the seafront, but we also we wanted to get one, but I feel like they might be too hungover. I'm gonna text my sister, but I really, I really fancy just going to get one now. We'll see. I just want to romanticize the last day. It's the last bloody day of sun until not sure when. Oh, I really hope the weather in England perks up. Um, but anyway. Let's get on with the day, I guess. I think this is going to be the last day of the vlog. So, yeah. Guys, it's the first place I've found that do other meals. I'm so happy. It's a bit of ice latte. Mm -hmm. mm. Guys, look at this flipping acai bowl. Wait, why is it so bougie? Why is it on a platter? Oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god, I literally never eat alone. This is so much fun. Wow. I don't even know where to start. Oh. Mm. Mm. Guys, that was unreal. That's like the second acai bowl I've ever had. I still need all that fruit as well. I feel like I've really not been eating any fruit or fish. This is a junk hungover Mathilde. I just got her a croissant and a Pepsi Max. She's living. She's living. <laughs> hey, this is the look now. This is my bikini today. It's from Motor Rocks. I um, just thought I'd give you an update, it's about 3pm, I'm about to cr crack open a Pepsi Max, um, I don't know what the fuck is in there, but did you just hear that noise, because it sounds like it's like cockroaches or something, anyway, um, I'm going to have this on the back, I've just been sunbathing, I'm, I am getting a bit burnt, but I'm kind of just trying to soak up the last of the sun before we leave, um, but yeah, I also kind of wanted to speak about like body image on holiday because I like through my marathon journey, I have definitely gained weight, which is like, I feel like before I would think no, like, no, I'd be running loads. So like, I'll probably like lose a bit of weight, but because I'm so hungry all the time, I have like ended up gaining weight and I'm not like annoyed about it. It's just like a bit like, oh, what? Um, because at home I just cover up 24-7, pretty much, apart from, like, when I go on my runs. Like, I don't really look at myself much because I find that, like, it can just cause a bit of judgement and we just don't want that at all. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to, like, kind of say and, like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes it's nice to know that people aren't just, like, so happy with their bodies all the time. Like, I've caught myself, like, judging myself this holiday. But I just think, you know what? No, no, no. Um, because like, it doesn't fucking matter what you look like in a bikini. And like nine times out of ten, you'll probably like Pete. Someone will probably look at you and be like, "Oh my god, she looks great." You'll look at someone else and be like, "Oh my god, she looks great." Like, there's just no point in like picking yourself apart, especially because you know what I kind of realise is that when I pick myself apart or like think like, "Oh, maybe I shouldn't get like." three ice cream ice creams in one day like i would i would i do it anyway like whether i'm i'm in like a place where i'm like feeling good about my body 
or feeling bad about my body, I still do the same things because like I I don't restrict myself at all. That's just not how like my like I just don't I don't get to that place where I don't have the stuff, if that makes any sense. I feel like that doesn't make sense. But like there's no point in worrying because I, I I'm gonna look the same right now. Like I I look I look like this anyway and I'm gonna eat the same stuff and like there's no point in looking at that in a negative light. I don't know if that makes any sense. But basically, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, I feel like it's weird because, as I said, I, I literally don't look at myself when I'm at home, really. Like, because I just don't like to dwell on it too much. Like, our bodies change so much day to day. But I feel like when you're in a bikini, like, obviously, you, like, catch glimpses of, like, yourself quite a lot because you just, like, you're very exposed um but yeah i just think like let's try not to judge ourselves too much this summer like it's about the enjoyment like my sister and her friend probably haven't thought once about what i look like do you know what i mean like and i haven't thought about what they look like we're all just so busy worrying about ourselves <sighs> but anyway that like got really like i don't even know what i was trying to say but hopefully some of you got the gist Anyway, I'm going to continue <laughs> sunbathing now. I've almost finished my book. I'm like this much of the way through. I think I've got like that much left. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good book. Um, but anyway, Pepsi Max time and sunbathing time. Guys, what the fuck? I literally just, <laughs> I literally just opened my Pepsi Max having a sip, reading my book. I fucking spilled it everywhere. It dropped on the floor. What the hell? What the hell am I even meant to do? <laughs> Got myself a little baguette from the shop. Probably gonna have chorizo and cheese. Yeah, I've literally never looked so sweaty in all of my life, but I just finished my book. I am Vegetarian by Del Parks. I heard it on um, the girls' bathroom. It's very Chintzy's podcast, and literally my favourite people in the world, by the way. Um, Sophia said it was a good book, so I was like, well, I'll buy it because I feel like with books, like, I always want someone to recommend it before I buy one. Um, anyway, it was good, not amazing, like, compared to like Verity or like The Silent Patient, which I'd say are like tens. For me, this was like a 7.5, but I finished it, so that means that I wanted to keep reading, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I finished the book, and we're gonna start getting ready to head to the airport in a bit. We're pretty much all packed up and ready to go home now. Um, I bought this massive, humongous thing of dates on the first day. And I've been eating about 17 a day and it still hasn't gone down. Well, I've eaten like five a day probably. I've already eaten like, I actually think I've eaten five today already. But I'm trying to, I don't think I can bring them back. Oh, I don't think I can bring them back with me because like, well, I guess I can, but I also have no room in my bag, like, guys, this is teaching me to just know what to pack, because what the hell, I have no space. Um, but it's also taught me that I love dates. I love just, dates are so, like, oh, if you haven't tried one, guys, honestly, I only tried them for the first time about a month ago. They're so, like, indulgent, like, caramelly, they're just great. Anyway, I think we are going to leave now. Also, I'm really burnt. I'm really... I've, I've overdone it. I've overdone it, but... That's all right. Bye, apartment. Bye. <laughs> Just getting myself some of this Asian food. It looks so good. I just ordered, they said, like, 40 minutes. So, we got to wait. Guys, it's buzzing. I'm so happy. Also, I've had to change into my bloody flip-flops because I've got a blister. Ah, three days from the marathon, I've got a bloody blister. Your napkins are literally blowing in. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. Bye. Been real. Any last words, guys? Yeah, first. Hey guys, 
I thought now would be a good time to end this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I'm literally about to start my next vlog, which is my marathon vlog. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the lands of vlog and I will see you next time. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, alright. Love you.